Hey, Jeremy here from VVAX Metrotech. Today I'm gonna to give you a run through on the VM series of utility locators. This video is gonna cover off how to use the VM series of locators. So this is gonna to apply to your VM 550 or your VM 560. The only difference between the two is the frequencies that they use. Everything that I'm gonna show you is gonna be exactly the same. So we're going to be hooking up to a trace wire and showing you how to hook up, how to use the transmitter, turn it on, and then the functions of the actual receiver. So let's go get into this now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is hook up our transmitter, and that's quite simple to do. Take out our ground stake, uncoil our leads, And what we want to do, so in this situation we're hooking up to trace wire and we want to make sure that our ground stake is far away from this and 90 degrees to our actual connection point. So unfortunately in this situation I know that the line's going to run this way, I have any idea that it's going to run straight. So because there is asphalt and pavement next to me over here, I'm not going to go 90 degrees that way, I'm actually going to go a little bit behind me here. and I see someone has left a ground stake in here from the last time. So now I'm gonna take my red lead, hook it up to my trace wire, and what I like to do is just put it on and give it a little scrape off because this is a little bit corroded. So I'm gonna hook up my lead. I'm gonna take the other end. We plug it into the end of the transmitter here. And you always wanna make sure that the transmitter is off when you're making connections or breaking the connections, disconnecting it. You always wanna make sure the transmitter is off for that. So in this situation, the 550 transmitter, I have a couple different choices here. I have 512, 8K, and 83. In this situation, what I wanna be using is eight kilohertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button on. I'm gonna push my F button to get me to eight kilohertz. And now I should be ready to start my locate. So the first thing that I wanna do obviously is turn my receiver on. So I'm gonna press the power button. I'm gonna make sure that I am in eight kilohertz, which I am 8.19. If I wasn't, I can push and hold the information button. And then I can use my plus and minus to scroll through my frequencies there. So 8K, push that button again to get back. Now my sound is off, I can do a quick press of the power button. It's gonna give me my sound. So now I've gotta adjust my gain. So it is semi-automatic gain, which means I just have to do a quick press of the minus or plus button to get it to jump up or to jump down to the center of the screen. So, my line is running this way, turn myself around. I can do my directional check by rotating the receiver. Okay, now I'm ready to head off in this direction and start doing my locate. So now that I'm a bit farther away from my transmitter, what I wanna do is push my I button and I wanna check my depth to make sure that what I'm actually locating is the utility that I wanna be on. I know that the gas in these situations oftentimes are around two feet deep, uh, a communications cable or a power cable may be a little bit shallower, and my water stuff typically is deeper than that. So, we wave the receiver back and forth, put it on the ground, lower my gain down because I go off scale, push the I button, I got one foot, 11 inches. I raise it up a foot. I got two foot, four inches. That's pretty close, because maybe I didn't go a foot, but I'm gonna call that good. Yeah, this looks like the utility I wanna be locating, so I'm gonna carry on.
adjust my gain down. Okay, so now I've lost the signal out here. So what I want to do is a sweep to see if I can find it headed in either direction. There it is there. So I found my utility again. I rotate the receiver, which tells me it's headed in this direction. I'm not going to check my depth here because at a bend, it's going to be a distorted field and it won't give me an accurate depth reading. So I'm going to carry on doing my locate. So that should help you out on how to operate your VM series of receiver and transmitter. If you need any more assistance with that, please feel free to reach out and we'll get you in touch with someone that can help you. Hey, please make sure you hit that subscribe, smash the like so you follow along with all of our videos. Thanks very much and take care.